In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take aesthetic notes in OneNote. Aesthetic note taking is a style of note taking that emphasizes creativity, organization, and visual appeal. And it can help make your notes more engaging and memorable, and can also help you better process and understand the information that you're learning. Aesthetic note taking often involves the use of color coding, illustrations, diagrams, icons, and other visual elements to help organize and represent information. It can also involve the use of different fonts and typography, as well as creative layouts and formatting. I'll be sharing three different sections that cater to different levels of aesthetic note takers. The first section is for those who want to create visually appealing notes without investing too much time and effort. I'll be showing you how to use style hierarchy to create well-organized layout that looks great and is easy to follow. The second section is for those who want to take their note taking to the next level. I'll be demonstrating how to add stationary and background images to your notes to give them an extra touch of style. And finally, the third section is for those who want to go all out and add things like stickers, GIFs, and other visual elements to their notes. I'll be sharing some fun and creative ideas for taking your notes to the next level and making them truly unique. So let's get started. There are simple ways to bring clear structure and hierarchy to your notes while making them visually appealing at the same time. And that's to apply different styles to your text elements. OneNote offers different text styles you can apply. For example, applying heading one on these text blocks, heading two on these, so on and so forth. But we don't have the option to customize these styles like we can in Word. There is a third-party macro from OneTastic that lets you customize styles, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll show you how you can do this manually. I'm going to create a section called Aesthetics, and within it, a page called Font Style Templates. I'll list out the different levels of text elements that I want to apply to custom style to. This is a highly personal choice, but I will limit mine to page title, heading one, heading two, normal, and important, sort of mirroring the styles that are set here. Then I'll choose and apply the different font size and other formatting to each according to my taste. So here you can see that I've applied different font, font size, and highlighting to different text elements. And if you want to create a visual break or separation between blocks of text, you can apply a table cell over the text and fill it in the color of your choice. So for example, I'm going to highlight everything here, click on the table, click on the single cell. Now that puts a little border around it. I'm not going to color this in because that's going to then interfere with the highlighting that I have here. But now I have a set of styles that I can apply to different text. What I'll do now is I'm going to copy this whole thing, control C and go to my meeting notes. So this is a sample meeting note that I created. Let's actually clear out all of the formatting. So let's say this is a note that I took and I want to apply some styles to it. I'm going to copy this little um, style guide, if you will, over and I will click anywhere. I don't have to highlight the whole thing. I can just click anywhere in the phrase here, click on format painter, and I'm going to give this page title this style, right? So for heading one, again, click format painter, project update, and then click on it again, quality control, and then heading two, you know, and you can double click on the format painter so you, you don't have to go back each time. So I'm gonna apply format heading two here, heading two here, and then for important, I'll highlight this section as being important. Now I think this adds a little bit of uh, structure and hierarchy to our notes and makes it visually pleasing at the same time. And you may choose to create multiple style templates if you wish. So for example, you can go back to the font style templates and just copy this over a few times. And then you can change the font, color, the highlighting for each of these text elements to create some variation in your style templates. So here are some examples of what I have created for my use.
You can experiment with bringing in different stationary backgrounds. This works particularly well if you plan on using something like an iPad to handwrite your notes, but it also works fine with type notes. Canva, of course, is a great resource for this. Uh, you can search for stationary or even things like Cornell Notes. I don't have a paid subscription to Canva, so I'm gonna avoid these pro templates. Let's click on this one, it seems to be free. I'm gonna click on customize this template and I won't actually customize it. I'm just gonna click on share and download. Uh, PNG is fine, so I'm gonna hit download and okay, here it is. It's sitting in my download folder. I'm gonna go back to my OneNote and here I'm gonna insert pictures, go to my download folder and here's a template. I can resize this of course and I'm gonna right mouse click, set picture as background. So on an iPad, of course, I can hand write my notes over this and on a computer, I could, of course, type my notes. So it does work much better if you're handwriting on your iPad. And if you do plan on printing this page out at any point, you can go to view, go to paper size. And for us here in the US, we typically use letter size. You can see that the image is sitting outside of the printable margin. I'm gonna right mouse click again, uncheck that picture's background so that I could actually scale this to fit on the paper and go back to set picture as background. Now, if I were to print this, everything will fit on a letter size paper. You can also bring in shapes and other background elements to create visual sections or zones for your notes. You can use these in conjunction with the stationary background or separately. Um, coming back to Canva for this, I like their brush strokes. It adds some visual interest. Let's choose this one here. Customize this template. I wanna get rid of their text, obviously and just leave the brush stroke, go to share, download, and download. Okay, I'm gonna go back to OneNote, insert picture, here we go. And of course we can resize this however we want. And I'm gonna right mouse click and set picture as background. Now I can choose an interesting font Let's see what's interesting. And I think that looks kind of nice. Using different background elements and a little bit of creativity, you can create a note page like this. Emojis, GIFs, and illustrations can often help express emotions and ideas better than words can. You can use Windows plus period to sprinkle emojis and GIFs to break up the text. So for example, I can add in a quick construction emoji here, control emoji here, and safety emoji here. You can also include commonly used shapes, pointers, and stickers to the asset library to further enhance your aesthetic notes. I created this note page here called asset library to collect and store interesting icons and illustration. You can search for these just in Google Images. It helps that these have transparent backgrounds, so make sure you include transparency and PNG file type in your search like this. And there are places where you can download entire icon packs. I get mine from Envato Elements, but you do need a paid subscription here. And in addition to simple icons, you can keep business templates that you may use often like marketing funnel, Venn diagram, SWOT analysis, and others and keep them in the same asset library so that you can quickly drop them into your notes as you need. Coming back to my construction meeting note here, I can bring in, let's see, something like the brush stroke. And I can add some text to it. Let's change it to an interesting font. Make it bold and larger. 
By the way, I'm holding Control Shift and the right bracket, uh, angle bracket, I think they're called. And then I can go back and bring in other interesting icons like this light bulb. And let's say this pointer. So you can start to add in elements very quickly because we have all these commonly used icons saved in our asset library. So we can start to tag different sections with these icons and make it more visually interesting. And again, I think the overall the note looks definitely more polished than interesting and it did take a little bit of time to set up, but that's a one-time deal, right? So once we have the assets, we can continue to use them over and over again and apply them to different notes. Lastly, I want to share a simple tip here. As we add more blocks of text to a note page, sometimes it's beneficial to give them little color coding to each section to visually separate them. Unfortunately, OneNote does not allow us to put color in a container. But a quick workaround for that is we can select the texts and then go to insert table and insert a single cell. Now we can put shading. So I'm going to just, I like this color. So I'll just select this blue light color, hide borders. Now, if I were to add another block of text later on, maybe some follow-ups to do's, I'll just paste in some text and make them all to do's. Now I can do the same, select everything, insert, table, select a cell, and I can choose a different color. So I can choose this light green and hide borders. So that clearly separates my to-dos from my first notes that I took. And again, it just looks nice and organized this way. So those were some of my tips and tricks for aesthetic note-taking. Whether you're a visual learner or just looking to make your notes more engaging and memorable, I hope these tips will help you take your note-taking game to the next level. Remember, you don't have to be an artist or a designer to create beautiful and functional notes. With the right tools and a little bit of creativity, you can create notes that are not only useful, but also fun and enjoyable to look at. Thanks for watching and happy note taking.